Hi everybody! Today I wanted to talk about something elementary. Languages. One of the most important things for a translator is to keep up with how languages evolve. However, most of us are so concerned with perfecting our knowledge in our target language that we forget about our native language. As a translator, we have to know what's going on with new trends and how our language is changing. And this is especially true if you live in a country where your native language is not spoken. Having moved out of Brazil in 2002, this is a challenge for me and something that has always been in the back of my mind as a professional translator and also as a mother. If you are unable to travel to your home country very often, you have to find ways to keep in touch with your language and know how native speakers are interacting with it. In my case, I was able to sign up for a package of Brazilian TV channels so I can watch news programs, soap operas, series, and keep in touch with the cultural and social context in which my language is being used. There are radio stations I can listen to when I'm running and exercising, so I can listen to the news, keep up with current events in my country, and also have a better idea of how standard language is being used in the media. I also keep in touch with friends and family through social media, and a lot of my friends are translators as well, so we can talk about how language is changing, how new words are coming in from other languages, and how words that already exist are changing their meaning based on how people are using it nowadays. The good thing about these tools that you can use to improve your language is that they are tax deductible. So signing up for a TV package with international channels or subscription to magazines and newspapers, even trade magazines in your field of specialization, these are all things that you can deduct from your business expenses because they're helping you improve your business. Still, nothing beats being in your own country and surrounded by your language. So, plan your trips not just for tourism or because you're homesick. Take advantage of translation events or even trade shows in your field. It is also a good idea to go to different places in your country. So, if you lived in the southern part of the country, go to the northern part of the country and see how locals interact with your language. So, what are the takeaway lessons here? First, Find tools that will help you keep your languages fresh. Second, look for audiovisual material that will help you memorize it better. Third, check with your accountant if those expenses are tax deductible. And fourth, try to visit your country not just for tourism or because you're homesick, but to take advantage of translation conferences so you can interact with your peers as well. It may sound obvious, but as a language professional, you have to use your language as well. Oh, but it was just an email, who cares? That's no excuse to write poorly. Languages are your tools, and you have to use them well. If you do want to do it for good habit, just do it not to throw your reputation down the drain. If clients receive a poorly written email from you, why shouldn't they assume that you're not going to be paying attention to their projects either? So do yourself a favor and review your messages at all times. It does not take much for you to use a spell checker, research a preposition, or see if a sentence is a little ambiguous. It would only do you good. Oh, and don't forget to check what you write in the social media, because everybody's watching and you don't know where your next client may come from. Oh, inter the, uh. <coughs>